over the years, people use various plant species to treat the most various diseases or discomforts. This popular knowledge was passed from generation to generation, teaching the type of plants ideal to each expected effect and the preparation mode until nowadays. The most common method to use plants as medicine is through the teas. But how does the tea appear? With the intuition to reduce the epidemic outbreak in your kingdom, the Emperor Cheng Nong ordered your people to boil the water before drinking it. One day, while he was boiling the water for his own consumption under the tree, he noticed that few leaves fell about the liquid, giving it a brownish tone and after drinking, he discovered that it has a nice taste, which makes him disseminate the drink to your people. The Indian people attribute the tea discovery to the Prince Bodhidharma, son of King Koju, that a day left in a pilgrimage by the north of India to preach Buddhism wherever he went. But, ending the fifth year, the prince got sick and weak. The sage guided him to take some leaves from a special tree and make an infusion with it. After drinking, he was cured, and the medicine was clearly the tea. Through the generations, this knowledge was transmitted until nowadays, and to meet it, this documentary interviewed three ladies. When asked, they answered that plants are very important to treat disease, because they are natural and according to what we learned in the past, they can resolve various symptoms and discomfort. In a general way, all the ladies learned to use plants with their mothers, grandmothers, and other old people. The knowledge was given in an active form, assimilating the felled symptoms with the plants used to treat their discomforts by those seated people. Therefore, we can note the importance of the popular knowledge appreciation once they are very effective, mainly in the less favored part of society. To control the inflammation, the ladies recommend the transaging tea. The stomach discomfort can be improved by the Ortolangrosso tea. For intestinal discomfort, like gases, they recommend the Bodo tea and the Evados tea. But if you have diarrhea, it's interesting to try the tea of Catingueira zest, or Catinga de Porco, as the tree is commonly known. About the discomforts arising from the menstrual cycle, they recommend the Pegapint tea or the tea of Cadeiro's root. To treat the flu symptoms, we can use some teas, like the tea of Pitangueira's leaves, tea of Hortelan leaves, or the Mastruz with milk. We can also use the Lambador, a cold candied preparation made with various herbs, like the Mastruz, Hortelan, Sabugus flower, Transaging, Lemon, Honey, and Garlic. Besides that, the infusion made with the eucalyptus leaves can help in the nasal clearance and in the shortness of breath. The first step in the tea preparation should be the plant hygienization. Then, we should put the water to boil and turn off the fire when the first boiling bubbles appear. At this moment, we put the plants in and pots should be closed to the plant substances present in the leaves can migrate to the water and make the tea. The average waiting time is 30 minutes. But be careful, the medicinal use of tea should be done with caution, because excess consumption or its interaction with medicinal drugs can cause some bad issues to people's health. As was related by an interviewed lady who said that suffered from a reaction between a tea prepared with various herbs and her daily medicinal drugs to hypertension and diabetes control. Finally, the interviewees highlighted the importance of perpetuating and disseminating the knowledge and use of plants as medicine, mainly by the new generation, for being from natural origin and most of time easy access, the use of tea and other medicine forms using plants can improve significantly some symptoms, though needing to resort to use of medicinal drugs.